Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in this tutorial video I'd like to show you how to get started with responsive design mobile first and in the first half of this tutorial series is uh, me going to show you how to actually do the same thing in using desktop first and then later we'll go into mobile first and why you'd want to start your next project using the mobile first approach okay so here we are in brackets text editor and we're going to be using the live reload feature so i just um, opened a small window here in the bra brackets um, editor and any change we made is going to be reflected on um, the chrome browser here in immediately so let's get started okay so first of all i have two boxes box one and box two and i have a css class here styling them appropriately with red and blue color um, respectively so they all have a display of inline so initially the box one has a width of 50 percent and box two has a width of 50 percent okay so normally in um in html when you're designing people want to have different um, boxes to have different widths at different sizes so what I mean by that is if you happen to be using Twitter bootstrap you'll notice that when you um, when you resize your box um, smaller and bigger the, the, the contents of sorry when you resize your page smaller or bigger the contents of it get um, res resized as well so what I mean is like if, if, if we resize this browser window here and it gets so small what Twitter bootstrap does it it takes the contents of your um, browser window and just resize them so this box one will expand to fit the width of the whole window and box two will expand to fit the width, width of the whole window and when you expand your browser window as well then instead of fitting the whole window it just becomes smaller and and takes up um, less space of the of the window so that's what we're going to be trying to replicate here and i'll show you how to do it first in desktop first so you at least you know what desktop first is and even if you're not familiar with the term before responsive design came and all these media queries um just to be just to make you aware we're going to be using media queries in this tutorial series but i wouldn't um explain that in detail but i'll assume that you know it if you don't i'll probably do it in a tot in another video um as a separate tutorial okay so let's get started so what we want to do when we resize this to make it smaller we want that when we make it to a certain width that it gets um each box takes 100% of the whole window. So what? how do we do that? So first of all, let's take care of box one. So let's add a media query here to say um, that when the width of the window gets small to a certain size, make sure that each of the boxes fills the width of the whole window. So how we do that is you use media queries and the syntax is add media and max width of let's say um, right now okay let's say 500 because we show that this is um, actually let's say 300 we show that this width I type is more than 300 okay so 300 pixels and say that box one what do we want we want the width to be 300 pixels Sorry, 100%. And we want box 2 to also have the same width. Okay, so now watch what happens when I resize this and the window gets small to 300 pixels. Each of the boxes takes 100% of the whole window. So watch what's going to happen. Okay, that didn't seem to work. That's because I forgot a comma here. Alright guys, um, and we don't need that. Yeah. Okay, so now when I refresh and we get to 300, as you can see, each of the boxes expands to fill the width of the whole window. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with this. Except that, now if we wanted to give the um, each of the boxes a different width at a smaller size, we'd have to go and type again at media and we say max width let's say at 200 pixels we want it we want them to take 90% of the width instead of 100% so we have to say 200 pixels let's just copy this quickly <coughs> excuse me width of um, 90% okay so now when we make this smaller as it gets to 300 it takes 100% of the width 
as it gets to 200 it takes 90 percent okay let me just make that uh 250 pixels and then make this 90 percent let's say 75 so it is more pronounced so as you can see now we're at 300 it's 100 percent and at 250 is 75 percent for each box okay so why don't we want to use desktop first remember this is desktop first we started with a larger version and we style this um we style our boxes as you can see all these styles here are targeting the desktop version and then we're saying as you get smaller start applying these rules so the problem is that like if you start from large device you can have infinite number of smaller devices like it's a it's a headache to be targeting smaller smaller as you're going smaller because what you're saying is um, apply all these styles to my CSS sorry to my device and then also apply these styles so what's happening is your smaller device might, might not be that powerful and obviously CSS doesn't cause that much rendering issues sometimes it does but most of the time it isn't but that doesn't mean that you have to let your device apply all the rules so how do we want to do that we want to now we want to start using a mobile first approach and say only apply the rules that that should be applied um, based on the width okay what do I mean by that so by default let's apply these rules and then as we're going up that is instead of as we're going down like this when you say max width it means as you're going down as as your device width is decreasing so when we say min width that means as your device size is increasing so let me show you what I mean by that guys okay so now instead of width of 40% by default let's give it a width of 100% and let's give box 2 also a width of 100% so now I'm going to just delete these two and I'll just um, re reduce the window size so as you can see at a lower resolution um, so uh, sorry at a lower width the window size the boxes are all 100% by default so now we want to say as you're increasing remember at first we said as you're decreasing now we want to say as you're increasing and how you do that is you say at, at media now instead of max width we say min width so now what like at every width right now it's at 100 percent but when it reaches 200 and or let's say when it reaches 300 pixel we want you to apply this rule so now we say box one width is 20 percent box 2 width is let's say 60 percent okay so now you see what's happening like as we're increasing the width of the boxes change instead of as we're decreasing the, the width of the browser so what's the advantage of doing it this way now this is a very simple scenario but as you're doing more styles in your CSS what we're telling the um, rendering engine is like only apply these rules by default that's this this hundred percent width rule so now obviously we are assuming that larger size devices are more powerful like desktop so only apply what's inside this media query here when this uh, when the window size reaches a certain size so obviously 300 pixels is not that much use but we can actually increase this to say 700 so now this wouldn't kick in this width 20 percent and 60 percent will not kick in until we reach the um the 700 pixel mark so let's keep increasing 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 as you can see as we reach 700 pixels in width that um these rules start kicking in and if you're doing a lot of complex stuff in here that might require some javascript um event handler to kick in that will only kick in when the width reaches that larger size and larger size devices usually are much more powerful than mobile devices it's not always the case because mobile devices are getting more powerful as well but in in the regular scenario that is in today's world mostly larger size devices um, are usually desktops and stuff and you want complex um, stuff to happen only when you're on a larger device okay so that's it guys um i'll just cut this tutorial series short here and if you have any questions please head over to my website forum at lswebapps.com forward slash forums and ask any questions you want there or just shoot me an email if you want and then um i'll 
I'll be glad to help you. But I'll really prefer if you go over to the forums in that sense that everyone will learn. And um, I'll, I'll just write a quick blog post on this as well. So if you want, you can go read it on my website. And um, that's it for this tutorial series. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon on YouTube. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye bye.